Hi, I'm David Ramvet, and this is number seven in a series of weekly readings from the Tao Te Ching and from my own book, No Way, an American Tao Te Ching. So, number seven. The Tao is infinite, eternal. Why is it eternal? It was never born, thus it can never die. Why is it infinite? It has no desire for itself, thus it is present for all beings. The master stays behind, that is why she is ahead. She is detached from all things. That is why she is one with them. Because she has let go of herself. She is perfectly fulfilled. And the analogous poem number seven from No Way, an American Tao Te Ching. Let me just get it here. Copy of it. Okay, here we go. No Way, number seven. Born. It's called Born. All this business about the eternal and the infinite, they say what happened in the past is no guarantee it has to happen in the future. They're talking about war, and maybe one day that will end. As to death, no matter how much we've seen, there's more to come, no escape. Well, Jesus. But he's odd, the exception that proves the rule. The only way out is not getting born. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we are infinite and unborn, floating forever in a vaporous non-place of non-being until we choose to come home. With parents like mine, maybe stay in the vapor. Do we wait as toothless babies or as the toothless old, the first hesitant in the face of birth and the second equally so in the face of death? Maybe it's midway, that moment in which we become our imagined self. Healthy, happy, good-looking, rich, no car crash, no cancer, no war, see stanza one. Then the next moment, the realization of delusion and wham, from drenched in infinity to drenched in afterbirth.